Oh no. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Here we go. Back again. Back with another stack. <laughs> I had my weedy my weedies. <laughs> okay. Here we go. IDW Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number 28 cover RE, which is the retailer's I was going to say R.I. Right? It's insensitive. <laughs> R.E. Don't know. But it's an exclusive by Jetpack Comics and Games. Exclusive. Okay, retailer exclusive. Yes. Yes, okay. <laughs> but this is a great cover. Look at that. I love the, the, the line work and the, the, the blues and the grays and the blacks. You know? It's not like... It's not... They're not like really tight pencils, right? It's like... Awesome. So cool. I think it's by Mr. Kevin Eastman. I believe. I believe I can fly. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, look at this one. This one's cool. I love this one. Check this out. Of course, everybody is familiar with that one. First appearance of Morbius, the living vampire. But this one, if you notice, it's like a chromium cover. Look at that. Hmm? It's a reprint from Mexico La Mole Convention uh, I'm not sure how many they made of these but man when I when I saw it I freaked because you know first of all it's a great cover second of all it's a cover that's a book that's hard to find you know uh, and it's a reprint and it's cro and it's chromium <laughs> fool it will take more than a freak with six arms to stop a vampire the Amazing Spider-Man number 101, still 15 cents, a monster called Amorpheus. Let's revel, let's revel in this beautiful, uh, beautiful cover, you know. Let's indulge ourselves in this beautiful cover. Isn't that beautiful? Man, great story, great cover, great awesome, everything. You know, I have, I have an original, I do. And I've shown it on the show before before the pandemic and it's incredible I love it okay here's another cool cover uh, Teenage Ninja Turtles Teenage Ninja Turtles annual number annual 2021 con exclusive convention IDW exclusive there's Michelangelo right look at this cool I don't know who did this artwork but that is beautiful look at that awesome 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 okay let's see what's next uh, the Amazing Spider-Man, uh, number 875, Legacy, or number 74, the current, no, that's not the current, uh, this is volume 2 or 3, I believe, I think it's 3, but isn't that great, look at that, beautiful, see the little web shooters right here, the little web shooter, yeah, okay, let's see, let's see here, man, I have all these books here that I haven't even, I haven't taken them out. Oh, of course, this one's a nice one. I love this one. Here's another one. I love it. Yes. Mr. Gleason, right? Mr. Patrick Gleason. Fantastic. Great cover. Great, great, great cover. The amazing Spider-Man. Yeah. Cool cover. I've not got more than one. I love it. Okay, next up, another Turtles cover, number 100. Great. Well, of course, Leo, right? Raph, Mikey, Donnie. Great cover. City at War. Another Turtles, number 75. The Trial of, of Krang, part three. Another Turtles, this is by Mr. Kevin Eastman, number number 47. Beautiful. That's a great cover. I love it. Okay, here's another one. Uh, number 53. <laughs> it's hanging out. Hey, is that Mr. Krabs? <laughs> yes, it is. Hanging out, just watching TV, having, watching movies. Oh, I, think it's just a, I got a slew of Turtles here. Number 47. Great cover. Look at that. 
the mousers and the, and the turtles. Okay. Okay, what's the other one? Turtles. Uh, number 54. I think I was in a turtle's kick. Because uh, I'm not collecting anymore, but I love the covers. Uh, I think that was, that was also by Mr. Kennedy's. Number 58. <clears throat> okay, here's a throwback. The Max, number two. Great story. Weird story, but great. Yeah. Yeah, by Mr. Mr. Sam Keith, right? Uh, another one, uh, back in the day, I feel. Brigade, number one. Right? Yeah, I think I remember when I, I, a gentleman was there at the, at the flea market and they had a bunch of old Im image books. Sever Force Annual, number one. Okay. And let me see, here's another one. Yeah, I remember this one. Here's another one, Sever Force. Uh, number one. Right? This is a great read. Uh, fantastic. I think Mark Silvestri's brother wrote it. I don't know. But it's great. I love it. This is a great book. A great read. Great, great start for Top Cow Studios. Eventually, again, for Mr. Rob Liefeld. It says Maximum Press, but it becomes um, Extreme Studios. Oh, speaking of Extreme Studios, here's this one. That was like a, an incentive for her retailers, I believe. <clears throat> Here is the Max number one. Right? Love it. There's a, a there's a retailer one too, or like a, it's like a glow in the dark one. I need that one. What was Spider Man number twenty four? The Vulture is back. In high stakes. There's another one. This one, I love this story right here. Web of Spider Man. The Cosmic Gambit. This one, the Watcher, is here. He, <laughs> this alien, abducts him, or he takes over him on the ship, and they happen to be watching Spidey playing football with these kids, and he says, "If Spider Man losers, losers, <laughs> Spider Man loses." Then something happens to the Beyonder. And uh, Spider-Man wins, then whatever. But anyway, they, the kids tell him that he has to tie his hand behind his back and he can't use his powers or whatever. And it's like him against a whole bunch of kids. Game's almost over, Watcher, and it looks like you lose. Fantastic. Heck. Okay. Let's see here. Uh, next is... I don't remember this one. Fred Hembeck sells the Marvel Universe. No, I like it. I get this uh, cash machine. Register. <laughs> I go out for the artwork. It's hilarious. Uh, Spider-Man Torment number five. Of course. Everyone is familiar with this series. Number three. Mm -hmm. uh, number four. And then here's... Uh, I, oh yeah, I bought a bunch of them. Well, there's only two right now, but uh, darker image. This is the first appearance of Deathblow, the Max, and I forget what his name is, but that's a Rob Liefeld character. Uh, Blood Wolf or some some shit like that. <laughs> anyway, it's still uh, <clears throat> still has a poly bag in there. Let's get the card. There's still a card. Uh, the Max number four. Uh, the Max number three. Isn't that cool? That's like a Batman cover. <laughs> I almost met Mr. S Mr. Uh, Sam Keith. I asked his people if I could interview him. They said yes, but it never materialized. Anyway, so number four, number one again. Love that. Love that cover. Love that. That uh, that story. Uh. Again, you know, I showed this one last time. I have the, um, the slab. This one's a little beat up, though. I think check this one out. Uh, retailer exclusive, right? Turtles, uh, number three. Jenica, number three. And it has April O'Neil on the cover. I love April O'Neil. You love April O'Neil. We all love April O'Neil. Yes. Look at this one. 
retailer incentive turtles playing video games pizza what more do you want right what more do you want and then on the back there's another one uh retailer incentive turtles number 14 cool cover right okay well then uh, i'm going to close with this one uh fantastic four this is when uh jim lee did fantastic four the heroes reborn or something like that that's number three here's number one i love man i, I remember reading this story and it wasn't, it wasn't it was okay but they were using a lot of star trek terminology <laughs> so, but anyway if you see that they're getting it it's good peace